Hi everyone, it's Becky from Keep It Simple English and in this video I'll be talking to you about the difference between main verbs and auxiliary verbs. So what's the difference between a main verb and an auxiliary verb? A main verb, also known as a lexical verb, gives meaning to the sentence. If we change the main verb, we completely change the meaning of the sentence because we're changing the action. Take the following two examples. He played football. He watched football. The sentence structure is the same, but the verb's been changed. So you can see that the action is entirely different. The, the whole meaning of the sentence is completely different between both of them. An auxiliary verb is also known as a helper verb. It just gives us a bit more information about when things happen, how they happen, and under what circumstances. Look at these three sentences. He played football. He has played football. He would play football. Can you see all three sentences use the same verb, which is to play? They've been conjugated differently, but the, the action of the sentence is identical in each of them. So it's still him playing football. It's just a question of when and how and under what circumstances. So he played football, the simple past that just gives us information about something that happened at one time in the past. He had played football. That means before a certain time in the past, he played football, but we don't know when. He would play football. That's conditional. The word would puts conditions on the sentence. So he plays football if something else happens. Some verbs can only be used as auxiliary verbs. For example, must and would. They don't have any sense on their own. They don't mean anything as words on their own. They have to be used with a main verb to, to, to help, to bring some meaning to the sentence. Um, however, there are some verbs which can be used as both a main verb and an auxiliary verb, like have or do. If you're new to learning English, it can be a little bit confusing to know which is a main verb and which is an auxiliary verb. I'll tell you this, the auxiliary verb almost always goes in front of the main verb. There can be more than one auxiliary verb. The main verb is usually the last in a string of verbs. Okay, let me show you this. I have money. It's conjugated in the present tense. I have it, I'm in possession of money right now. And we haven't used any auxiliary verbs. I have had money means that I had money in the past, at some point unspecified, but we don't know when exactly. I have had money is conjugated in the present perfect. If you don't know much about that, click on the link above and that'll take you to my video on the present perfect. So the auxiliary verb usually goes first. Look at the following sentence. Which is the auxiliary verb and which is the main verb? I can help you. So in this sentence, can is the auxiliary verb and help is the main verb. The auxiliary verb goes first, remember. To make a sentence negative, you usually want to put the word not in front of the first auxiliary verb. It's not always quite like that, but for most sentences that have more than one auxiliary, you want to put it after the first auxiliary. For example, I shouldn't have eaten so much ice cream. I should not have eaten so much ice cream. So there we've got three verbs, should, have, and eat. Should and have are the two helper verbs, the two auxiliary verbs. Eaten or eat, that's the action. That's what's actually taking place in the sentence. Should and have just give us more information about the background, about the circumstances. Shouldn't have usually expresses regret. So I'm going to be making a series of videos about auxiliary verbs. If you want to know anything in particular, if you have any specific questions, tips, ideas, leave them in the comments below. 
don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos and remember to click the bell button that means you'll receive a notification that tells you when I've released a new video so thank you very much for watching don't forget to visit the blog at www.kisenglish.co.uk and I'll see you next time